Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord His Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have uh, Major Arcana Justice, followed by Major Arcana Judgment. Next, we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Swords. Lastly, we have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. All of your cards are in the upright position. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense week for my Scorps. Your overall energy is the Justice card in the upright position. Justice is Libra energy. It could be... Um, literally, maybe some of you are tied up in the courts this week. Perhaps you're waiting for um, a judgment to come down, uh, an arbitration or something like that. could be all about justice for some of you. This could be justice playing out in your relationship, in your home, your work, what have you. Um, this could be you know, justice returning to an unjust situation. Maybe, you know, the, the wrongs are made right now. Um, yeah, it's just basically about weighing things out as well. Because, you know, justice, there's literally scales in this card. It could be that you're weighing some things out, trying to make it fair, balance. It could be some of you are seeing some poetic justice, some karma playing out this week as well. And you're like, oh, look at that. Could be. <laughs> we want to hear from you in the comment section below. What is going on here, Scorpio? <clears throat> right at the beginning of the week, you have judgment in the upright position. Well, you might need to make a judgment call here. You have justice and judgment in the same reading here. Something could be going on on the, the legal front for some of you. It could be any kind of uh, like legal situation, whether it be, you know, say when you purchase a home or something like that, a lot of times you have to deal with legal papers, legal stuff, and could be things coming up. Could be straightening out something from, you know, the Mercury retrograde, if you were trying to do anything <clears throat> written, contracts, those kinds of things. It could be it's finally getting straightened out this week, uh, untangling the mess that Mercury brought in. Any type of thing. Remember, these are just general reads, so it's different for each uh, situation. That's why we ask for the comments in the comment section, so we can know in which way are these readings resonating for you. But anyway, getting back to the judgment, this is all about a situation that we thought was done and dusted, could be coming back up again. Now, this is where we need to make a judgment call. There could be a need for this... Uh, Again, you have free will. I always say to people, and they say, I don't want to hear from people from the past or, you know, what's done is done. You don't have to just accept people back in. You have free will just because somebody comes back in. You have the right to say yay or nay if you want to pick up. Sometimes it's just for closure. You know, people come back and you have a nice clarifying conversation. It just sort of clears the air and then everybody's good. Uh, sometimes that conversation can lead to, oh, I didn't realize that this whole thing was a big misunderstanding and maybe we never should have, you know, parted ways in the first place. So it just depends. This is where the judgment call comes in. For others of you, if you're more spiritually minded, you could be having some kind of spiritual revelation this week at the beginning of the week where you have an aha moment where you see things in such a clear light. And if anybody's going to be able to do that in a really, really good way <laughs> it would be scorpio <laughs> you guys are uh, really good at seeing through the veils and seeing things for exactly what they are even the stuff that's on the other levels oftentimes scorpios can see through um you know what th that difference between reality and non-reality Scorpios can uh, really discern that type of energy as well, too. So some of you, perhaps that's what's happening. Others of you, perhaps there's, you know, an opportunity for you to work at a job or a company that you used to work for, or a person you used to work with, or a group of friends, or whatever the situation is. Could just be coming back up again. Now, it's up to you to decide what to do, hence the judgment call. <laughs> Remember, you have justice as your overall, so everything will be equally balanced and fair. So I don't think you really need to worry too much. You just need to make your call, that's all. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. Make your call, that's all. <laughs> Better call Saul. <laughs> 
Okay, so the Three of Pentacles in the upright position is your next um, energy coming towards you in the early part of the week. This is really good for those of you who just say, for example, started a new job. This is you working in harmony with the other people around you. Everybody's on the same page, the same team. Everybody's working towards the same goals and things are, are uh, moving quite well. Now, for others of you, this could, if it's not playing out at work, this could be uh, even at home, for example. Maybe you're getting the house ready, doing some spring cleaning or what have you, and everybody's jumping on board, everybody's doing their part, and there's a lot of cooperation involved. Others of you, it could be that perhaps you work in a small company, maybe it's your company, or it's just like, there's like three of you, and you're working on a project together, and again, everything's going along well. If you're working, um, you know, say renovating a home or doing stuff like that, whatever it is you're doing in a team situation, there's a lot of cooperation there, and everybody's moving forward because everyone's um, goal is the same. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright position. I always welcome, well, all of the Aces because they represent like a new beginning. But the Ace of Swords can represent an aha moment, a, like a, having a new idea come to you out of the anti-cosmos, like a moment of clarity. Really cool to have that in the same reading with the Judgment because... You know, especially if this is like a spiritual awakening for some of you or you're seeing things in a new light, this could help bring some extreme clarity or clear up a situation. Like I said, Mercury was wreaking havoc uh, for the last few weeks. Maybe there were some misunderstandings and clarity was hard to come by. Now, boom, the clarity is there. Sometimes this can be representative of the sword of victory. It can be the sword of truth. Um, you know, cutting through all of the, the nonsense and the, the vagueness and finally getting to the truth of a matter. And then you land on the beautiful chariot in the upright position. This is really nice energy, beautiful solar plexus activation. Look at that yellow there, nice. Um, this could be about, you know, this is a very black and white type of energy. It's like moving forward. It's already assured success and uh, victory. So wherever it is you're going or whatever you're, it is you're doing, looks like there will not be any delays, especially if you're traveling. This can sometimes indicate like it is weekend energy. So maybe some of you are taking off. You could be going on a road trip or taking a small trip somewhere or, uh, you know, whatever it is, maybe you're going to meet up with somebody or you could be going for an interview, maybe that's in a different town to you. Perhaps you're interviewing for a job somewhere else. And this means basically uh, the success is assured. You know, all you have to do is show up basically. And it's also fast moving energy. So just don't steamroll over anybody's toes on your way. But beautiful energy. Maybe some of you are even looking at purchasing a vehicle. Sometimes the chariot can indicate that. It could be that, you know, you need to purchase a new vehicle, like a new car, or maybe some of you want to purchase a, a motorcycle or an RV or something like that. Any type of vehicle. Um, so that's what I have for you, my dear Scorpios. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like and share and share the show far and wide. And, um, you know, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Have a fantastic week, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. Much love. Bye-bye for now.